Oh my gosh. There's this new there's this new there's this new poem called The Street by Octavio Paz. It's amazing. Here, here's someone to talk about it right here. He's right there, see him? He's right there, see him? Look at him. Come on. Look at him. What? Look. Look, look, it's Nate. It's Nate. He's, he's here to tell us about Octavio Paz and how he wrote the street and tell us all about it. What? Yeah, remember? You signed up for this. That's why you went to college. Get out of my room. No, I'm going to start. No, 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 just, just, just sit, sit down over there. Just go, just go sit, down, sit down over there. Go, go. On. Come on, just take a seat. Take a, take a seat. Come on, just take a seat right over there. What? We need a little, little background information on the... On the, on the, on the, on the, on the street by Octavio Paz. Ugh, crap. Finally just... Okay. Ah, here it is. Background information in the street by Octavio Paz. Yeah, woo, woo come on, yeah! Shut up. Make me. Uh, the, the poetry of Octavio Paz often contains elements of surrealism in which dreamlike images from the unconscious mind are captured in writing. Octavio Paz is a Spanish poet born... Ooh, he's Spanish? March. That's oh cool. My God, shut up. Is a Spanish poet born March 31st, 1914. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that's my sister's birthday. Okay. Died April 19. Oh, 19, he died. Oh. He was age 84 in Mexico. 84 City. years old? I'm only 15. Hey, he fought in the Spanish Civil War. After that, from 1946 through 1951, he concentrated on writing. He concentrated on writing after the Spanish Civil War? You know what, if you don't be quiet, I'm not going to be able to talk. He's interested in Asian arts and philosophy, shown in poems. I see. He taught and lectured in Europe and Ooh. in the United States. A teacher? Hey, what subject did he teach? I don't, I don't know, writing, probably. Poetry, all right, all right, all right. whatever. <laughs> Okay, now we are going to learn about important vocab. First one is first, pursue. Can anybody tell me what pursue means? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a dictionary. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> Fine, well, it means to follow. Look at that handwriting. Hey, yeah, I know it's horrible. Or. I don't know that. I was going to use pursuit and say something. To follow someone or something, or to catch or attack them. Okay. He's writing catch. Now he's writing or. What letter is he gonna write next? <gasps> oh, a T. Isn't it fun to learn? Oh, okay, now, now, there, now there is another word. Uh, silent stones. We thought that this was important because of its importance in the poem. Uh -oh. Yeah, importance in the poem. Rock on! Silent stones.
Mm -hmm. Can anybody tell me what this means? Oh, oh, oh! Yes? It means that there are stones and they're silent. That's pretty good. You know what? Fine. Fine. I'm going to let you have your moment. Okay, you know what? I am way too lazy to write this, uh, so I am just going to... Hey, you know what? Screw, screw this. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to write this. Uh, okay, I'm just going to tell you. And you can like write it down or something. I don't know. Yeah, that means that means the class should probably get out a piece of paper and write down pursue and the definition of pursue, and write silent stones down. Yeah, Cody. And Austin, you better be doing this. Okay. It, things that people. Uh, blah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, Okay, wait, what de what de wait, 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 what definition are you reading right now? Silent stones. God okay, damn silent it, stones. You quit interrupting me. I'm sorry. God. Detention. No. Uh, things slash people that are always there. Uh, I can't read this. Okay. You know, maybe it would help if I said. Can't be shy. <laughs> okay. Th things slash people that are always there, but don't really mean much. There we go. Wait, what was it again? Oh my god. Th things slash people... I'm, so, I'm sorry, Nate. I'm, I'm a little slow. What was the first one again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want to have to do that. Um, things slash people that are always there but don't really mean much. Things slash people that are always there but don't really mean much? Yes. What okay. was that what was that word again? Silent stones. Hey, what's the next word, Nate? Are, are we I'm getting impatient. Cool no, okay. Uh, if I run, he runs. Are, are we ready to move on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's being followed, but can't find the person following him. He's, He's being good. followed, but can't find the person following him? Can oh you explain gosh. that a little bit? Oh my gosh, fine, okay. Well, why should I explain it? Because I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, of course you don't get it. <sighs> so why wouldn't would be good at, at like a teaching job? God. Oh, okay. It, it means that, you know, he's being followed. But he can't find the person that's following him. Oh, okay. 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 I mean, okay. Yeah. What's the, okay. What's the next word? Okay. Silent street. He, he's all alone on his. Wait, 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 wait. The word was silent street? Oh my god. Silent yes. street? Okay. God. Okay. Silent street. He is all alone on his journey with no one to turn to. Okay. He's all alone on his journey with no one to turn to. Yes. Okay. Do I need to explain that to no. you? No. Next word. Uh, there are no next. There isn't a next word. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yes. This is it. Okay. 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 Here, we have the almighty Nate Bordell. Who's saying that? He will now read us the poem, "The Street" by Octavio Paz. Oh, you again? Don't call me that, by the way. That's your problem. Don't listen. Sheesh. Okay, well, anyways, random guy who broke into my apartment. Hey, I didn't break into your apartment. Hey, no, you're lucky that I don't call the cops. No, okay, anyways, The Street by Octavio Paz. Paz. It's a Paz. Paz. But you know, I don't care. Okay. Line one, a long and silent street. I walk in blackness. I stumble and fall and rise. I walk blind, my feet stepping on silent stones and dry leaves. Someone behind me, also stepping on stones, leaves. If I slow down, he slows. If I run, he runs. I turn, nobody. Everything dark and doorless, turning and turning among these corners, which lead 
forever to the street, where nobody waits for, nobody follows me. Where I pursue a man who stumbles and rises and says when he sees me, nobody. The end. Okay, now we are going to do a line by line analysis of this poem and hopefully get this over with pretty soon. Uh, okay, line number one. He's on a long journey by himself. Pretty simple plane, right? He, line number two. He is confused and he doesn't know where he's going. Wait, Nate, what is line number one and line number two? Like, can you read them and then say what they mean? Oh, oh my gosh. Didn't you listen when I was reading the poem? No. I don't think Austin was either. Cody, were you? Or Cody. Yeah, uh, Cody, he, he never listens. Okay. Line number one, a long and silent freaking street. Okay, what about the freaking uh, Okay. He's on a long journey by himself. Oh my gosh. I walk in blackness and I stumble and fall. This is line two. And Wait, then can, then after you, like, can you explain, like, what the lines are after you read them? Like, you're doing a good job, but, like, say, like, like read line one and then explain it, please. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting paid for this. Hey, you know, I kind of went to law school. Why didn't you? Oh, uh, you know... I don't even care, just, just, just come on, do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, line two. He is confused and he doesn't know where he is going. Uh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of a song. But that I might sing. Uh, and line number three. And rise and I walk blind, my feet. And basically what that means is he thinks he... He thinks he found out where he is going. Line number four. Stepping on silent stones and dry leaves. Uh, meeting new people, but they don't mean anything. And those people are the silent stones and the dry leaves. Oh, I see. Of course you do. Yeah, I do. Finally. You open my eyes, Nate. What are you hoping to learn from this? From breaking into... I, wa I want to learn about Octavio Paz and the street poem. What persuaded you to just like come? Okay, you know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Gosh. Do you have to put duct tape in your mouth? Maybe. Uh, someone behind me, also stepping on stones, leaves. And basically, what this is saying is someone is going through the same thing that he is. I see. Nate, can you hurry up so and just... this is a miracle. Nate, can you, like, hurry up? Because, like, this is taking a while. Oh, okay. Okay, n line number six. He feels that someone is following him. And Wait, re read that again. I can really okay. hear you. If I slow... Yeah, read a little bit slower. He slows. And basically what he's saying is he feels that someone is following him. Line number seven. If I run, he runs. I turn, nobody. And basically what this is saying is, he can't find him. Nate, who are you talking to? Line number eight. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you're like looking at the table. What are you looking I, at? I, I'm looking at the book. Why? I don't know. It's just you didn't memorize the poem? It's just my style. You didn't memorize the poem? Uh, you, you broke into my place and... and demanded that you learn about Octavio Paz. Are well, I want to learn. So teach me. Hurry up. Uh, hurry up and teach you. Uh, okay, whatever. <sighs> okay. Everything dark and doorless. Me, I can't see your face. He is by himself. Well, good. Gosh. Annoying. Okay, number nine. Uh, turning and turning among these corners. Uh, and basically what this is saying is he has nowhere to go. Okay, line number 10. <sighs> Which lead forever to the street. It leads for, and basically what he's saying by this is, it leads forever to a place where he already was. 
Line number 11, where nobody waits for nobody follows me. He can't turn to anyone for help. Line number 12, where I pursue a man who stumbles. What he's trying to say here is, he is trying to find someone like himself. Then finally, line number 13. Is that the last line? Okay, yes. Do you think it's a coincidence that uh, it's line number 13, like it ends in 13 lines? I, I said finally. Yeah, but like 13 is like an unlucky number. Cody, do you think 13 is an unlucky number? Yeah, Cody. Okay. Uh, okay. And rises and says, when he sees me, nobody. Basically what he's trying to say here is, no matter what, he can't find him. I see. Finally. Okay, now we're going to go over poetry basics and hopefully you can get out of here. Okay. I can't wait. This is kind of boring, actually. Get out! No! <laughs> My teacher's forcing me to stay here. Okay, fine. We can go over the poetry basics, like I said before. What if I don't want to? And shut up and listen, then you can get out. Fine. Okay. You're going home without any dinner. <laughs> I'm hungry. Too bad. Basically, the form is free rivers. Wait, Cody, are you listening? How about you, Austin? You better be listening. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> okay. The sound devices are alliteration. And here I have some examples of some. Silent stones. Dark and doorless. Stepping on stones. Turning and turning. And silent street. Basically, if you didn't know what alliteration was for some godforsaken reason. Maybe we're playing games in class. Cody? Um, it's basically like, you know. Wait, Austin, are you paying attention? How about you, Micah? Can you quit interrupting me? I have to get this, uh... You know, next time you interrupt me. Except, can't help but laugh at your misery. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I'm just gonna skip what alliteration is. Well, whatever. Um. Okay. B. Wait, isn't alliteration like when the okay. word the words okay, you know the word starts with the same letters? You know what? No, no, hit me! No! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Go away! <laughs> I love this. I love my job. Okay. Okay. Um, assignments. S slow down, he slows. Here's some examples, by the way, in case you didn't already wrap your mind around it. Um, turning and turning. An easy one. He sees me. Basically, it's ending sounds, you know? I thought it was vowel sounds. Okay, yeah, you know what? Vowel sounds, ending sounds. Uh, aren't they all the same thing? Yeah. A little bit. Nah. No, wrong! What if a word doesn't end in a vowel? Wrong! <laughs> I love my job. I thought you said you hated it. He Don't you want to be a lawyer? I did want to be a lawyer. Keep going. Why, why do we keep getting off topic? I, I don't know, but I like it. I think Mrs. V. Joe's getting annoyed <laughs> at this video. All right. Back to where we were. Okay. Okay, consignments. Start a little bit there. Okay. And here are some examples of some. Nobody waits for nobody follows me. Turning and turning. Stumbles and rises and says... Those were some examples. Good job. I'm proud of you. And then, for rhyme, well, we couldn't really find any rhyme. Yeah, the poem doesn't really rhyme at all. Yeah, th thank you for uh, watching this video. M maybe in the future. Uh, I won't have to do this for a project. And, uh...
And maybe we won't have to do a project at all. So. Make sure, make sure you give your vocabulary worksheets to either Brad or Nate to collect. Or Cody. Yeah, Cody. Cody, I know you're not listening, but you have to do extra. Make sure you write. Like, you, you have to use the word in a sentence. Only you, though. And, and plus a couple more things. Cody, your punishment for not listening. You have to eat, like, five habanero peppers. All yeah. Months, so. In class, make sure you all point and laugh at him. <laughs> and, uh... And also, um, I think this deserves a little extra credit. We put a lot of hard work into this. Thank you. And, and we're also going to try to go through this. Yes. Yeah, so, and, and if any of you want to know what I was draw drawing, too, um, it, was, uh, it was this. He scribbled a little bit. Yeah. So Wait, like, held it right there. He zoomed in a little bit right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was drawing. Yeah, that's... Yep, and there's Nate's face. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Say bye to the camera. <laughs> bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. bye. Closing time. Turn all of the lights on over every boy and every girl. Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here.